Enjoy. I was at Barnes and Nobles. This is like 10 years ago, for example. And I would be going in and my wife would be standing there and she'd say, don't you dare go in there. And I was like, whoa, why? And she's like, because every time you go in there, you get lost. You just like spend hours in there and you never come out. And I'm like, okay, honey, why don't you go like go shopping, buy yourself something nice, take the kids out from some ice cream. I'll see you in an hour. And she's like, oh, and she goes off. I walk into Barnes and Nobles and I go straight for like the self-help section or the business section. And I just start piling up books, you know, I just start piling them up and I'm, I'm like looking through them and I'm looking at the covers and the, and the testimonials and the contents and, and I'm looking for the one, you know what I mean by that? that one book that's going to just change my life right and of course after about 20 30 minutes i finally find it it's like leaping out at me i'm like yes this is it and i put it under on my arm and i you know hold it like a baby and i go to the checkout and i pay for the book and i find a, a quiet little corner i take out my yellow marker pen and i just start marking everything like you know like if you look at my books I've got like hundreds of books like you'll just see yellow everywhere like what the hell is the point of marking everything the whole point of a marker pen is to highlight certain things but as a self-help addict everything's amazing it's like oh my god that's going to change my life oh my goodness yes that's so deep oh that's a game changer right and you just turn the page and turn the page and turn the page and then you get to the end of the book and suddenly you have this feeling like this this like sinking feeling inside which is, oh no, what do I do now? Right? It's what do I do now? Because here's the thing, this is what's what's really interesting, is that when you're consuming content, so when you're listening to this podcast or whether you're watching a YouTube video or wh whatever you're doing, you're reading a book, your, justif your justification for not taking action is I'm just gathering information. I'm getting inspired. I'm getting the motivation that I need to go and take action. The problem is, is that it never ends. There's a never ending cycle. So what do you do? You finish the book and then you try to find something else to consume. So you go, oh, oh, I know. Maybe there's a website here. So you go to the website and of course on the website, there's a free webinar. Well, that's it. <laughs> You've got to sign up to the free webinar and then it'll be good. Then it'll be great. And so you go onto the webinar and about an hour and a half later, what happens at the end of the webinar? He says, if you're serious about taking some real action in life and really making a transformation, then you can join me at my resort event in Vegas. Just $3,999 plus flights and, you know, whatever, hotels. So, of course, you take out your credit card and you think to yourself, mm, I kind of, I'm kind of broke, kind of can't afford this, but... This is going to be a game changer. This is going to change my life. So it's worth it, right? So, of course, you go and you go to this event and I don't need to continue, right? You either get this or you don't get this. The people who get it will be nodding their head like you're doing right now, right? They'll be smiling. They'll be saying, yeah, I know what he's talking about. That's a self-help addict. We're addicted to self-help and we basically overdose on information. Yeah. Yeah. So Daniel, at, at what stage in your life did you realize this, this wasn't a good thing for you? That's a good question. I don't know if I can pinpoint a time, yeah. but what I can tell you is that I'm still a self-help addict. Don't get me wrong. I wrote the book and I'm I'm doing things. I'm running a podcast show. I'm getting on stage in front of thousands of people. I was featured in Forbes. All of these things are happening. I, you know, I've grown successful companies. I've got a beautiful wife and children. Everything seems great. But here's the thing. I'm still a self-help addict, which means that I still get the same thoughts as you do. And when I say you, I'm talking about those of you listening who may be in that situation where you feel stuck, where you feel like you haven't accomplished. I still get the same thoughts and feelings as you do on a daily basis. Mm. The difference between me now and me before is that now I hear those thoughts and I feel those feelings, but I take the action anyway. Mm. Mm. And that's something that I, yeah, that's something I, I get into in the book. Mm. It's about how do you do that? Yeah, and I think this book is is so exponentially needed, Daniel. I I maybe came came to this conclusion about a month ago, 
And I realized that, you know, when I was watching like these motivational videos or I was reading these articles, I would feel really good, just like you said. And then, you know, later that day, it would be I wouldn't I wouldn't take action in, in my business or my podcast because I felt like I was my brain was doing something while I was watching those motivational videos. So when it actually came down to to work, I was like, uh, why do I need this? I can just it's basically like drugs. It's it's the same exact thing. Thank you for listening to the Humans 2.0 podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there, and you chose to listen to this. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about Humans 2.0 so they can improve as well. If you loved listening to that, I would love your feedback, whether you're watching this on iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, and anything else. Keep learning on the Humans 2.0 podcast.